That's all I right. think about in meteorology. A high pressure sits over an area. And when a high pressure sits over an area, it causes clouds not to form, and it causes the atmosphere to stay stagnant. So that's when your allergies act up. That's when things don't do right with you. But it's something about when the front shows up. something. The experience that you have with Christ is not just for you to have it with Christ, but it's for you to go back and tell somebody else about it. That's why I want to talk to you tonight about an experience. I was 16 years old. I came to this city here in North Carolina. It's called Asheville. The, the place was called Windy Gap. I thank God I got to give shout outs to my pastor uh, at that time, other Joseph Alfred and our youth leader, Brian Austin. They paid for us, city kids, to come all the way to North Carolina. I had been, I hadn't been out of Indiana. I mean, Chicago, maybe a place here or there, but never this far away. But they paid for us to come to this camp. And so we, we you know, come to the camp and uh, it's nothing but beautiful mountains and I mean, I had never seen the mountains. We saw hills, but we never seen mountains in the mountains. And I mean, it's just, it's beautiful out here. It's beautiful. And I've taken some pictures uh, and I plan on taking some more. Um, but we were out here. And so uh, the, the group that uh, they go with is called Young Life. And so we out here in these mountains and at this camp and we, you know, doing games and all this, and they have church services and they would preach to the young people. And, and what they did was, I love, they brought it to our level. They talked to us where we are. See, that's just how Jesus did with the woman at the well. He talked to her where she was. A lot of times we want to bring people to our level when sometimes we got to be able to talk to them where they are and bring them up. We got to know how to, to put the bait on the hook and reel them in. And so they talked to us where we were. Now, I knew Jesus. I had experience with him. Uh, you know, I was saved. Uh, I loved the Lord. Um, but I always felt that the God that I knew lived in Hammond, Indiana. I, I just, that's, you know, that's where I felt him. That's, you know, that's where I, you know. And so my story goes like this. So one night during the, uh, during the time, I was in a service with the young people. And I heard the Lord speak to me and say, close your hand and close your right hand. And so I closed my right hand. I'm like, 
close my right hand. So I mean, I got my fist ball and I'm kind of like close my hand. And he said, now go back to your dorm. Now, at this time, you know, the pool is open and, and you know, people out there playing volleyball and football and all this other, you know, everything. I mean, we're just having fun as young people. But I'm directed to go back to my cabin. So I go back to, begin to walk back to the cabin. And as I'm walking back to the cabin, I start kind of losing focus on what was in my hand. And so, uh, you know, I see a little cute girl or something like that. And, you know, I want to wave and, uh, you know. And as <laughs> I began to lose focus, I began to open my hand. And as I began to open my hand, tears began to fall down my face. And that, I, I kind of got nervous and I like tightened up the grip because I'm like, what is this? What, what, what's in my hand? And so I go and I hurry to get to this cabin because I now got to find out what is in here. And so I get to the cabin. There's nobody in the room. It's just me. And I hear the Lord say, and I get chills when I think about it. He said, open your hand. I'll tell you, I open my hand in the city of Asheville, North Carolina, and the presence of the Lord rushed that place, met me on a mountain, and I'm telling you, it changed my whole entire life. I knew the Lord, I knew, I felt his presence before, but there was something about that moment. It was something about that moment that changed me forever because I had an experience with God. I ha he met me where I was. It wasn't at a church service. It wasn't nobody laying hands on me. There was no musicians. There was nobody's pastor. It was him wanting to meet me on my level and he met me right where he knew what I needed. He knew what I was gonna have to go through. He knew the hurts that was gonna come. He knew the pains, he knew the brokenness, he knew all that, and yet and still, he wanted me. He wanted me with my flaws. He wanted me with my mess ups. He wanted me with my slip ups. What am I telling you? I don't care where you are in your life. I don't care how bad you've been. I don't care how long you've been there. God wants you right where you are. And he wants to give you an experience that would change your life. God changed my life. And I tell people, and, and you know, people, some people think it's just a so, but when God changes you, keep the change. So you just have to learn how to say, Lord, I'm here. I'm going to wait on you because I realize there's something good that's going to happen for me. God, I know that you haven't forgot about me. Sometimes we get in that restaurant, we get nervous that God, don't, that the waiter done forgot about us because they seem like they're serving everybody else's table and I'm still sitting here stuck on bread and water. Maybe it's because you ain't taking that bread and water ain't good enough. Maybe you, 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 you're so focused on what everybody else got that you're not thankful for what you got on your table before you. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then. We also have to be careful because not only do they have other folks' trays going by, but we also got the dessert tray going by. Thank you, Jesus. That dessert tray uh, looks quite nice because you have uh, your chocolate cake, you have your vanilla, you have your swirl, you have your pecan pie, you have your lemon, you, you, you have your caramel cake, you have all that, and it, it's going by. And, 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 and if you're not careful, you will begin to ask for the cake before you get a meal. Well, here's the problem. When you ask for the cake before you get the meal, your taste buds get messed up. I know some of y'all like that. Y'all y'all like to eat your sweets before the meal. And, and we, we can have an altar call after that. But there are some people out there that are eating their sweets before they get the meal. And then when the meal finally comes, you don't appreciate the meal because now your taste buds are messed up. What am I trying to say? For those people that are out there that's trying to have sex before marriage, you don't have to like me, but it's the truth anyhow. You out there having sex before marriage and you're wondering why this relationship ain't working. You're wondering why you don't have the affection that you need to have because you have a taste of something else in your mouth. If this is my last time, it's all right. I'm going to get it out now. You got a taste in your mouth. And now you're having a difficult time to appreciate the seasoning that have been put in that meal. But let me...
that I had are gone from now on are because the thoughts that I had about myself are no longer relevant because Jesus has changed something in my life. He changed the way my heart was. He changed the way I was thinking. He changed what I was saying about myself. He changed my family situation. He fixed my finances. He fixed my home. I want somebody to know that there's some breaking news that is here for you on tonight that is not going to stay this way. Yep, they can have COVID if they want to, but if COVID got a name, there's a name that's greater than COVID. Cancer got a name, but there's a name that's greater than cancer. I got breaking news on tonight that you don't have to stay there. You don't have to bow to it. But there's a Jesus that is able to heal. There's a Jesus that's able to fix. There's a Jesus that's able to bring you out. I just wish you would just praise God right in your house right now.